Hey, cybersecurity warriors, I'm going to compare Costco's complete ID versus ID shield in this video to identity theft protection services. And I'm going to look at how they stack up in terms of monitoring. And uh, typically what we'll look at is dark web monitoring, credit monitoring and transaction monitoring. I'll also discuss how they compare in terms of threat resolution. And of course, we'll talk about how they compare on cost, as I'm sure that is a very important metric for a lot of people. But just to give you that quick answer, you know, complete ID versus ID shield. Shield. I'm going to say I feel pretty strongly that Complete ID is the better choice here for most people. I think it's a more comprehensive package for what you're getting. And even though you need to have a Costco membership to use Complete ID, I think even considering the extra cost there, it's worth what you're paying over um, you know, what you're paying and getting with ID Shield. And we'll talk about that in just a bit. I do want to sort of direct your attention, however, to Aura. I think that they're definitely my favorite identity theft protection service out there today. Fully comprehensive plan, really great price, and they offer some of the best protection out there. So if you are looking for an identity theft protection service, I'd highly recommend checking them out. I have a great discount for Aura, but if you do choose Costco's Complete ID or ID Shield or Aura, uh, make sure to use my links in the description of this video to get the best deal that I currently have access to. I definitely have a great deal for Aura right now, but whatever the case, I'll always keep those links up to date with the best deal that I know of. So keep that in mind if you do decide to go ahead and sign up with one of these. But let's just take a look at what you get in the dashboard here for Complete ID and ID Shield. And right off the bat here, this is one of my least favorite things about ID Shield is that the interface is just fairly clunky. You log in and you're immediately brought to this sort of selection of portals. And right now I'm interested in credit and dark web monitoring. And okay, I just clicked on it, but I got to click on it again. And oh, Look at that. I got to sign in again. I already signed in, but you know, they need me to sign in again. Just a nuisance perhaps, but it's a nuisance to me for sure. So how these companies work is basically you put in your personal information and that includes things like your email addresses, your social security number, phone number, driver's license number, passport numbers, medical ID numbers. And you can see there's all sorts of different things you can track here. And basically the more you put in, the more that they can look for, they scan the public web and the dark web for instances of your personal information. For me, the biggest thing is, you know, email addresses and passwords associated with those. And they let you know if they have been released in a breach, if they're out there for identity thieves or otherwise to use for their own gain. In terms of what these companies actually allow you to monitor, I do just want to point out that the max you can monitor with complete ID is four email addresses, which is, I would say, limiting. You know, you can monitor, I've not seen a limit to what you can monitor with ID Shield, and most identity theft protection services out there allow you to monitor more than four. Something to keep in mind if you are leaning towards complete ID, you know, just kind of check how many email addresses you want to keep an eye on. How these systems work is that when they do find occurrences of your personal information leaked online or on the dark web, they will send you an alert. And we'll come over to the alert center here in complete ID and the dashboard here in ID Shield. Another one of my biggest sort of pet peeves with ID Shield is that you can't see cleared alerts. So I only have the three most recent alerts here that I have not yet cleared, and I can't go back and see other alerts that I've already sort of dismissed, which makes it really difficult for me to say who has the more thorough dark web monitoring between complete ID and ID Shield. So I do know that off the bat, like when I first started up with these systems, Complete ID definitely had more hits. And now if we disclude alerts like the Neighborhood Watch, Alternative Loan Monitoring, Credit Card Report, and we're just looking at the dark web surveillance, there are 14 hits that they found. So 14 instances of my account information being exposed on the dark web, and I can't really see what ID Shield has right now. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way things go. But what do these reports look like? So here's an example, uh, you know, dark web surveillance report from Complete ID, and it basically is telling me they were monitoring this email address here, and they found this leak on January 10th, 2023. So what was found, you know, my first name, last name, my email address, my user ID, and they did not find my password. So if I scroll down here, what is interesting is I can't actually see where this was leaked, but I know just from my experience that this was a, a Twitter breach that a lot of these identity theft protection services picked up. Similarly, if we look at, this is, you know, very similar same breach here. If we look at ID Shields, they found, you know, that my personal data had been compromised. They found this on the 19th of January. I and mean, they do give you the data breach source here, Twitter full database, 200 MBT, whatever all that means. I mean, this was on some place called Breach Forums and, you know, it was associated with this email address. And what did they find? Well, they found my email address, my name, you know, my full name, just like they found over here, my screen name, just like they found over here. They're also reporting back that they found the number of followers I have, which is a measly 16, and when the account was created. So a little bit more information from my D-Shield there. But at the end of the day, both of them are saying, you know, my password wasn't found, but it's a good idea to update your password 
anyway. That's what sort of the dark web monitoring is like, I think, given sort of the limitations of ID Shield here that I mentioned earlier, I, I definitely prefer a complete ID in that regard. But if we come over now to the credit center, I think that's another metric we can look at here and just sort of the credit score tracker in ID Shield. So both of them do offer, you know, credit tracking with ID Shield on the plan that I am currently on. It's one bureau vantage scores from TransUnion and one bureau monitoring. If you do want to get three bureaus, you do have to upgrade your plan a bit, which definitely impacts <laughs> whether or not you should be going with ID Shield in the first place. Whereas Complete ID does give you credit scores and credit reports from all three bureaus right here in the dashboard. And those are updated, you know, on a monthly basis. And you can also just pull your credit reports right from within here, which is definitely a nice feature. It's something I've, I've come to expect after using many different identity theft protection services. And notably, you're not getting that with ID Shield. If you want to pull your credit report, they send you over to annualcreditreport.com and you're going to basically take care of it yourself. So you can do that without ID Shield. Not sure why they even built that into the system here. One last thing to note in terms of personal information monitoring is that these do, both of these companies allow you to link your social media accounts and keep an eye on basically any abusive or profane activity that might be going on there. So, you know, that you can basically would be an indicator that your account's been taken over so you can take action to resolve that. With Complete ID, you can monitor your Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter accounts. And with ID Shield, it's, you know, all of those plus YouTube here. So definitely a nice thing to have. It's definitely something I'm starting to see more and more on these identity theft protection services. And last but not least, in terms of monitoring, both of these companies do allow you to monitor financial accounts. So you can see here that you can link, you know, bank accounts, credit cards, same over here at ID Shield. But basically what that allows you to do is once your account is connected, you can not only monitor the transactions going in and out, over the course of time, but you can also, uh, you know, set transaction limits and receive alerts when anything is over a certain threshold. So, you know, if you're not used to spending over, you know, a certain amount of money and all of a sudden a charge like that shows up, you can go in and see if it's legitimate or, you know, if it's potentially fraudulent and something you need to investigate further and, you know, resolve. So nice to have. In terms of threat resolution, the biggest difference here I see is that Complete ID offers up to a million dollars in identity theft insurance. And ID Shield, the way that they word it, it's a little different from most identity theft protection services. It's $1 million in reimbursement for stolen funds or something along those lines. So I'm not sure. I'd have to look into the legal wording a bit to see you know, exactly what that covers. I'm not sure if it's as comprehensive as you're getting with all the other services that use the blanket term, you know, identity theft insurance. So that is something I would consider if that's, you know, a sticking point for you. The other thing worth mentioning is that, you know, the level of service that you're getting from both of these companies is really, really wonderful. Should you have to call them for any sort of issue with your account or, you know, any sort of unfortunate issue relating to identity theft, whether it's, you know, a lost wallet or someone getting hold of your accounts or whatever it might be. You know, both of these companies do have really wonderful support teams. And really the reason I say this is because one company who is very popular in the identity theft protection world really has an absolutely terrible customer service experience. So that, you know, launched me into looking into that for the rest of these. But I would say both of these companies, Complete ID and ID Shield, offer excellent customer support, threat resolution support. The agents that you're speaking to understand they're not reading off scripts. They understand their product. They understand your needs as their customer. Um, and they understand the kinds of situations that you're going through when, you know, you've lost your wallet or worse. They're definitely there to help you through whatever situation you might be in. So excellent experiences there. And last but not least, how do these two companies compare in terms of pricing? Well, with Costco, as I mentioned, you do have to have a Costco membership in order to use Complete ID, which is, I believe, about $60 per year. And as provided you do have that, the price for Complete ID is $13.99 per month for Business and Gold Star members. If you have an executive membership, which is obviously more than the price of these memberships, the price that you pay for Complete ID comes down to $8.99 per month. And you are getting, you know, three bureau credit monitoring with that, whereas on ID Shield. If you want three bureau credit monitoring, you have to upgrade from the basic plan and that's $19.95 per month. So, you know, they're pretty comparable on price for the baseline plan. Of course, you do have to get that membership with Costco. But if you want to like make the services a little bit more comparable, you're, you're going to be paying more with ID Shield for sure. 
and you're also dealing with their clunky interface and the sort of limitations that we discussed earlier, you know, credit reports, those types of things. And, you know, once again, I just want to come back to what you get with Aura and their pricing. Their family plan is really a great deal, but just on their individual plan, you know, it's $15 per month billed monthly. So, you know, the same price as ID Shield, about the same price as Complete ID as well, if you're considering the Costco membership. And if you, you know, pay annually, the price comes down to $12 per month. And this is before my discount. But even at that tier, you're getting $1 million in identity theft insurance. You're getting very, very thorough dark web monitoring. You're getting three bureau credit monitoring with a credit lock. So basically with the click of a button, you can prevent unwanted inquiries into your credit file. You're getting monthly credit scores, annual credit reports from all three bureaus. You know, you're getting that financial account monitoring. You also get bonuses like a VPN, antivirus, uh, password manager, you know, a safe browser and so on. It's, it's a very comprehensive package, really an excellent tool, well-designed. And if you do apply my discount, the individual plan comes down to, I believe, $9 per month billed annually at the time I'm filming and $12 per month billed monthly. But the biggest discount comes if you opt for their family plan, you can save up to 50%. And what's really great about their family plan is that covers, you know, five adults. They each get their own account and unlimited kids. So as many as you want. And that does bump you up to $5 million in identity theft insurance, basically, you know, $1 million per adult. So really huge amount of insurance offered there compared to the other companies out there for sure. So in any case, if you do choose Complete ID, ID Shield, or Aura, make sure to use my links in the description of this video to get the best deal that I currently have access to. I definitely have a great deal for Aura right now. And if you want to learn more about Aura, check out my Aura review right here on this channel. I also have a video comparing Complete ID with Aura and a video comparing ID Shield with Aura if you want to check out you know, either of those comparisons in more detail as well. Hopefully that's helpful and best of luck on your search.